scoot out from underneath that little bit of brush on top of us and see if he'll just uh, stop since we crouch it up. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So today we're here on Leighton Lakes once again bow hunting for diamonds and this time we're going to do High Lake. Last time we were pretty much just in Chula. This time we're going to try to stick to High Lake and I actually just spooked a whitetail buck as I was getting into the corner of High Lake so we'll go on the map quickly uh, and take a look to see where we are. So you can see the general region of High Lake is up here but we are down here in the tiny little corner down in this area. But there should be a buck on his way back in. Generally, you can call them back uh, if they spook. And I can see all the does are coming, so hopefully he'll show up. So our buck is here, a 85 to 100 kilogram whitetail. Uh, he is the lower score estimate, 106 to 159, and a level 2. But he should be right up around that 159 area. I should make sure uh, while we're waiting for him to get a bit closer. Uh, we do have the 420 grain arrows equipped, and I think we should be good... Uh, on consecutive harvest. I hope we are at least because this should be a pretty easy goal as long as we can make the shot. And as of now, I'm not even going to worry about calling because he is just walking right in. I like the broadside angle, although he just kind of went uh, down over the hill there. Here he comes. Let's get ready. He's going to be nice and close. He might just spook. I don't know. All right. Not bad. All the does are taken off. There was a blacktail buck as well. So I should probably take this slow. I couldn't tell how big he was. He wasn't a monster. Uh, but he could probably be a level 3 and another gold. Or at least hopefully another gold. I'm not even sure about this one because I did just start the game. So consecutive harvests could be screwed up. Uh, but they are not a 144 whitetail, 839 gold. One of the best starts we've had to these videos in a while. So that is definitely a good thing. We'll kind of sneak over here and at least look for that. Uh, Blacktail's tracks to see if he's worth waiting for. So we've got a chance for some practice uh, trying to drop a elk with a bow, although they're all hiding behind that rock right now. We've also got a cow moose here, but I feel like I've gotten pretty good at dropping moose with a bow. Uh, but with the elk, I always manage to hit them a bit too low uh, and get lungs, although this isn't really uh, exactly what I want. It's worth the practice head on as well. I don't know how that moose didn't spook. Oh, now she did, but... Uh, she was definitely within the 50 meters, I think it is, uh, to spook from a bow shot. But anyway, got the neck bone and the spine as well as pretty much every organ. The, the 600 grain arrows have so much penetration, it really is uh, quite impressive. Well, hopefully our practice works because we got a decent bull elk here, 202 to 303 score estimate. Uh, I think he'll be close on whether or not he is a gold. But hopefully he'll take a few steps closer. We're going to have to aim a tiny bit high... And maybe a little bit more left. Uh, caught him in the lungs, but did not get the spine. So he won't go far, but I guess I still need more practice with the elk. Once again, I just hit a little bit too low. Ended up in the vitals instead of the spine. Wow, he really didn't go anywhere, though. Must have got both lungs. That's alright, then. If that was a potential diamond, I wouldn't complain. Because I think we're going to have like 95% uh, quick kill. 93, actually. Uh, but... He is the absolute minimum, I believe, for a gold elk, so we had to drop him uh, to get the gold there. Fortunately, he wasn't a giant anyway. That is not a very impressive moose. 61 to 122 on the score estimate. And if he can make up his mind what side of this brush he wants to go on, we can go for a spine shot. Hopefully the wind isn't going to affect this too much. It's pretty much just blowing straight left. Not bad. He is down. So, as I said, I seem to have more trouble dropping elk than moose uh, with the 600 grain arrows. Straight spine shot. Caught the shoulder blade as well. 105 score on that one, actually. I think that was right at the top of the estimate. This could be interesting. We got a max weight black bear here. 227 to 290 kilograms. Uh, that is the maximum weight. So, he could, in fact, be a diamond. It is very old on the track. So, it'll probably be a while. And we might have to leave High Lake to find him. And the worst part is he is going uh, in a not so great direction for the wind, but maybe with the tracks being so old, we might have him turn and give us a better uh, opportunity for the bow. I think we've got him coming in, but there's another bear uh, down here, a level four, which is nervous. So I guess he's spooked on our way uh, through here, but I think I can hear uh, bear footsteps to the left. Yeah, that would probably be him. Let's try to just spot him. I don't care if he spooks, to be honest. 
Uh, there we go. That's a level four as well. All right, then. Uh, in that case, we'll just try to shoot one of them uh, and get a little practice. Looks like this guy is going to give us a decent opportunity here. I don't really like the head-on angle, but we'll go for it. He's gonna, Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Got vitals. Uh, jump over him again? Oh, mistimed it. He should be going down any second, though, and he is down. So I'll have to get back on the tracks of the bigger one. He may have even started coming in and probably just left uh, when he got downwind. So if I have to do that on the bigger one, which I don't think is that likely, I have to aim a little higher uh, to catch the heart, or a little more central even, should get the spine. All right, back on the big one's tracks. We know he's a level 8, but... Oh, is that him? It might be. It is. All right. So... I guess we'll try to call him in. This area is kind of decent. Uh, we got a little bit of cover here, so what I'm going to do is just stomp down some of the grass in front of me so I can see while prone, and then we'll give him a call. So for whatever reason, he just refuses to cross this river. He'll come close and get about halfway across and then just not cross. I don't know if it's too deep uh, or why, but I think I'm just going to take him with the 7mm. He's not a diamond, uh, and I'd rather just get the gold from him and try to find something that is a diamond, so let's go for it. Got the double lung shot there, I think. Looks like he is going to just drop in his tracks. And actually, I think he actually didn't drop. He should have been frozen there. Uh, so we can get a decent screenshot of a level 8 uh, black bear. But that should be our second gold of the hunt. Unless I'm forgetting one. Uh, but technically not with the bow. But like I said, I'd rather just take him and move on. Like, obviously I want to get him. Uh, but I don't want to spend that long trying to call him in just to get a gold we know he's not going to be a diamond and actually he's kind of in the trees here so never mind about the screenshot well maybe like this i don't know why not sure and a 21 score did catch both lungs there and 897 gold so really not even a 900 but not bad our best animal to hunt of course with the 7mm uh, but as I said, let's just move on and try to find something that is a diamond. We've got a decent looking buck coming through the brush here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, prune so he doesn't spot us. I think he's got a chance of being gold. He'd be pretty close. 106 to 159, of course, on the score estimate. And that looked interesting. I wonder if he was starting to flee there. We should be able to tell when we pick him up. He was just at a standstill. 125, just under... Uh, the minimum for a gold, but a pretty nice silver coming in at 794. And that doe back there is a common. I already saw her, so I'm not going to worry uh, about her. We've got another decent buck here, but he is downwind. And I think we better uh, go for a 40 meter shot as he is alert. Kind of hope he turns, but he's alarmed. Now let's just go for it. That looked so cool. And there's another buck up there. I don't know if I hit him in the neck, but he like did a face plant when I shot him. It was kind of, kind of slick. I'm going to scoot over this way. Uh, I'm going to let him kind of walk away a little bit uh, and move to this side. And we should be better with the wind on this one and maybe not have to go for such a, I will admit, a lucky shot. I think this guy's actually a tad bit bigger and probably a potential gold. Something else coming in as well over here. Okay, that's a doe. I don't really... Uh, care too much about that this guy's staying nervous so as long as he stays in that state i'm fine with letting him walk a little closer but yeah i do think he's got a better shot at being a gold uh, than the one we just took let's scoot out from underneath that little bit of brush on top of us and see if he'll just uh, stop since we crouched up had to sneak that in beside a tree but two decent whitetail bucks down almost side by side We'll see if one of them, or maybe both of them, are golds. This one certainly is. 136. Got him through both lungs and an 820 gold. Not bad. I don't think this one is. I think he's going to be a little low. Yeah, 114 on this guy. And yeah, actually caught him just left of his neck, I think, and got him in the spine. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of lucky. I will admit that was a lucky shot, but it looked cool. And we're back to shooting Tiny Moose. Another 61 to 122 score estimate uh, level 2 male. 
So when he gives us a opportunity, we'll go for it. He is attentive, so I kind of like that angle. It's not the best, but I think we can do that. Not bad. I think we're going to end uh, at this lake north of us, by the way, because uh, we're... Oh, I just picked up my arrow. I don't think I've ever successfully done that, but it worked that time. Uh, spine and right lung shot, but anyway, uh, we're getting to the point where we have a good number of harvest, a couple of nice ones, uh, this hunt, the bear kind of being the highlight, although we didn't get him, uh, with the bow, there's another white tail buck down there, that's where we just came from, but we at least gotta check it out, I think this guy's gonna end up being a silver, he looks a little bit on the low side, the problem is, uh, with the tree and the rocks there, and the way he's walking, he's gonna end up directly downwind, uh, and I'm not even going to have a chance for a shot, although if he does that, that works out so much better. I might just go for the 30 meter broadside. Let's just see what he does. I'm not going to call her anything. I'll let him walk to that side. Yeah, I might just uh, let him come in, actually. He shouldn't really be smelling us anymore. So we'll just give out another call. I don't know if he just lost interest exactly then and turned that way. And now he's going back over there. I should have went for the 30 meter, maybe. We'll do that. And he is down. A couple of solid white tail bucks here. Three in one area, actually. Too bad none of them were diamonds, but three pretty decent ones. Another 114 here. Spine and... Was that right lung? Yeah. 768 silver, though. Not too bad. I don't know what's with all the tiny moose this hunt. Another 61 to 122 score estimate bull. But if he'll stop, we'll try to take him as well. We are at the lake uh, that I was going to end at, by the way. So we'll probably try to check around. See if there's anything else here. Can aim a little higher. Uh, that'll work. I don't know where I hit him. I didn't like uh, exactly where I was aiming because I think he was a bit over 20 meters. And I didn't want to go uh, kind of center spine and end up dropping below it. So what do we get? We ended up catching him in the spine. Which is kind of what I went for. Just going for neck or spine. So that will work. 103 score some, or yeah, uh, trophy rating on that guy. And we will sneak around the lake here a bit and see what else is hanging out. So we've got two bull moose that got to be really close to gold. But I don't know if either of them actually are. They're so close in size. I don't know which one that I'm going to try to take. Probably just the one that comes in first. Because I can't judge these anyway. Like, this size moose, I can never tell. And they just look the same to me. I can't really tell if one is any bigger than the other. This one might be a tiny bit bigger. The one on the left might be just a little bit bigger, but I'm really not sure. I think this guy's a little bit bigger, and he's 26 meters out, so I think he's the one that we're going to go for. We're going to aim high spine. He is down. Okay, I was hoping the other bull wouldn't spook and we can get them both, but I'm just not sure. I hope this one was bigger because he is going to be the last harvest of the video. But regardless, we've got a score of 127 on him, so not big enough for a gold, and I don't think the other one was then either. Uh, if the other one had to be 30 inches bigger than this, or 20 rather, uh, I don't think he was that much bigger, if at all. So, yeah, not a bad hunt. We had a good number of golds there, a couple of nice white tail bucks. Uh, and the big black bear, which of course I couldn't get with a bow, but I think it led to getting a lot more animals at the end by taking them with a gun instead of waiting uh, for the bow. But yeah, I like this kind of strategy that we're doing, sticking to one general area. This time was High Lake, uh, and it worked out pretty good. So hopefully it's going to work out in the future, and we can get ourselves a diamond with a bow. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.